I got turkey in my belly. Let's build. Well, I made the mistake of letting it rain and get dark while I was up here building this house. No connection to it yet, no bridge. I hate doing them. <laughs> They're tough to do. Those, these longer ones that, uh, that are, are really, really wide gaps. Yeah, they aren't so fun to do. Anyways, I have a new idea. Let's get a door on this house, make it a little bit more finished. Gotta grab a bunch of, uh, of glass and a few houses need glass, I think. That's very close to the color of... Maybe I shouldn't have used the same door. Well, that's fine. That's fine. If it matches the side of the house, that's fine. I have something that we can add to the buildings now that's going to be really cool, I think. I have an idea. How are you guys? Welcome to episode 51, by the way. I just finished... I just finished... What am I, what am I doing? Um, let's do this. I just watched Moana which is a new Disney movie, and it was pretty good. Is that going to give me... Gosh dang it, I always do that. Yeah, Moana was pretty good. If you haven't watched it, then go watch it. It is Thanksgiving for me right now. Do I want spruce? I'll take spruce. It's Thanksgiving for me right now, so, um, yeah. had my turkey. I actually don't live near my family and I'm not flying across the country to go see them either so sorry family uh, so my boss actually invited me over to uh, the restaurant that I work at and he had all of his family there and he has a big family so it wasn't like I was in, in like taking up some personal time with his family or anything so it wasn't too bad now I want to create something where do we want to go up from let's go up right here. I'm just going to dig through. Right. Is this a half block? Oh gosh. I shouldn't have done that. I can't get out. I can't get out. Help. Thank you. Um, no, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I'm in a pickle, aren't I? There we go. And then, um, can I get out? Yeah. We're making some sort of energy. Some form of so that's what they can get energy in these buildings. And I, th I keep thinking, yeah, you can do it. Okay. So we've done a windmill before, but it's not really for energy. The windmill that I'm thinking of, we've done in our farming town. And it's actually for, um, it's, it's for turning a stone mill, right? Well, what about windmills for energy? I thought that would be really cool if we did that here. So, here's my idea. Just, um, what's the best way to do this? No, that's not it. I gotta hold shift there. Cool. So, it's gonna be like a fan up here. And now, I need this to be on the bottom half. So, if I do that, yeah, that's fine. And then, again... No, I need those to be on the top half. What am I thinking? Oh, that's gone forever. Goodbye. <laughs> if I do... Yeah, that works. All right. The new trapdoors, they're not really new anymore. I think they're from 1.9, are just the best. <laughs> the way that you can place them without blocks underneath them and whatnot. I think you had to have blocks underneath them before. So this is our, our windmill power generator sort of thing. Let's get down and see how it looks. Now, stuff can spawn up there. I'm not too worried about it. Ooh, we could make a button. Do we have stone? We could do a stone button. We don't have stone, so let's just make a wood button. Let's make a bunch of them. And by a bunch, I mean four. And... Can I get up there? Yeah! Look at that. That's our, our thing. Let's get down and get a view of it. Because something like this is something to be viewed from far away all the time. Um, so from down here, you can barely even notice it. But if I were to... Let's just jump down. Let's jump down and... 
That sticks out a lot, is <laughs> my first impression. Let's see. Let's get up here. Let's get up on the temple and get a view of it. Hey, now that looks pretty good, I think. It's, uh, it's so out there. <laughs> it sticks out so much. Like, if I put this on, like, not every house, but, you know, a good number of them. We could also do something like weather vanes. I like the idea. I just don't know if I like it here. Somebody, let me know what you think. I don't know if I like this or not. I'm going to leave that as it is and eh, we'll, we'll come back to it. Everybody's at the red house. Rocking at the red it's got a bit of a plan here. I'm going to build something without testing it out in creative. Mm hmm. Pretty dangerous, I know. Ooh, where's the center of this thing? Let's pillar on out. So I want to make. I want to get. Oh, crap. Um. <laughs> We're we're on a half block up. I can't I can't pillar out. Let's start like this and get down here. I want to make oh my gosh. My plan today is to make or at least start on am I really gonna run out of cobble? I am. Do I have any more? I don't. Let's go get some more while we discuss the plans. The plans are to make the Okay, so <laughs> to to start off, the, one of the goals I wanted to do with this base was not only make it look great from the outside, but I also wanted to make this one functional for living in. So it'll have farms in it and whatnot, right? And uh, let's grab those. And do I have any cobblestone anywhere? I have, I have lots of cobblestone. <laughs> The goal is to make it functional. So first, the uh, first farm that we're going to make is a wool farm. And I thought a really good place to make it would be underneath the main floor, the first floor. So I don't have any ender pearls. This is the exact center right here. And what I already know is that I want this to be the landing point for a mob dropper right here. It's not gonna be an XP farm, just kind of a, well, not like, it's not gonna be like the mobs on demand mob farm, if you know what that is, where you use water or anything. They're just gonna spawn on their own and drop down on their own through water channels and whatnot. And they're gonna land right here. And the main idea is to get the resources from it. Although I'll probably make it rig it so that you can also set it up as a, as so it doesn't kill them. So you can hit them and kill them and get the experience. And then it's going to drop below the items. And then there's going to be an item room right here full of the resources. Well, that leaves a lot of room to do other stuff. Let's get down here. Let's actually chop, let's actually chop down a stairway. Yeah, let's be smart about this, right? I'm not sure how far this should be fine. I'm not sure how much space we're going to need. This should be good, but it doesn't hurt us to go down another one. The bottom of this base is going to be kind of like a bowl. So we have a lot of leeway on how low we can go, really. And around this in the center, we're going to have a wool farm, right? And... I don't know how big it's going to be. There's going to be one for every color of wool, and there's 16 colors of wool. We know that much. So if it comes down to here, this should be plenty of room. And how much room do we need in the middle? Let's just pillar out here and get a, a starting spot. The middle is right here. I think right here. Right here. So let's, do I have a way to mark this? Let's make this smooth stone or something. Let's make this 
grass. I have some grass I picked with my silk touch pick. Took forever. So this is where the center of the chests of the dropper system and whatnot's going to be. I have no idea how big that's going to be. So let's just say that we're going to leave a space big enough. <laughs> big enough indeed. Let's go out. The wool farm is going to be in a circle around it. I can't imagine that the chest system for the mob dropper is going to really need to be any bigger than five by five. If I'm thinking about like the space that hoppers are going to take and chests are going to take, you should be able to run a hopper straight down and then hoppers off to the sides into chests. So then that would put the chests right here, right? Which makes, can we mark this off? This would kind of be our, our boundary. This is where we can start working with. I probably shouldn't be using my smooth stone to be marking because I do have plans to use it for a floor material, but I'm not too concerned about it. That's not right at all. Hello. I lied about not being uh, not having to go into creative because I just did to find the center of what or how big this circle would have to be. So I counted out 29 blocks of space from one to the other. So that puts um, 29, including the center, is 14 on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hope I have enough room. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, that's plenty of room. Then everything from here to wherever the edge of this bottom bowl goes will be how much room I have for redstone and whatnot, which will not be that much. When I take a longer look at this, I think I realize why I don't like it, and that's because there's nothing really around this house. These trees still need to be brought up one more tree. If I were to have it like right there among a bunch of other cluttered trees and stuff, it wouldn't look quite so out of place. But with this being the only two tall tree on this side, it looks way out of place. So I'm probably going to put some more houses here and then see how it looks and then decide if I want to put it on all my other houses. But anyways... Here's what I've done. This actually took me a bit longer than I hoped it would. One, because I don't have a silk touch shovel. Two, I had to get more clay and cyan dye and green dye. But here's, here is, here is light. This is also not finished because I haven't put lighting in all the spots. But some of these have lighting. And then this is a prototype sort of deal for what the uh, the sheep farm will look like so there's gonna be one here one here one on a diagonal here 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 all the way around there's 16 in total one for each color and the theme of it is each uh one is gonna be colored to the sheep so there's lime green clay and then lime green glass this should probably come out now that i look at it and when i come through these it pushes that forward and the sheep will come forward and I will shear them. I can step forward and try to collect as much as possible. Really, it's only too wide. I shouldn't really have an issue, right? Right, I could probably shear them just like this, but hey, this looks cooler. Uh, speaking of cooler, this is really expensive. I don't have like any slime balls, so I'm gonna have to go get slime balls before I can really and pistons, lots of pistons and slime balls, like five, four to five for each one. So that's like, um, there's 16. So like, I don't know, like a full stack of, of sticky pistons is going to be needed probably. 
And I don't have that right now, but I will. This will be a project to keep working on. And it's color coded, that's nice. The one thing that I am concerned about is if I put too many sheep in there, they're gonna go through this grass like it's going out of style. And I put some underneath here and that should spread, I think. My other concern is it seems like this has a chance of removing the grass. Yeah, right there, right there, remove the grass. I don't know if it's, depends on how long that block is there. I think how long it's there is what does it, because I can step on there like that and it's not getting rid of that. So, something, it's not perfect. Maybe we do a water system instead. Uh, the other thing is if I breed anything in there, I'm going to have to block it off because babies will be able to get through there. But it's a start. Next thing to do would probably be just make all the hubs. Are they hubs? Whatever they are. We'll make all of them. This looks better. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Maybe maybe half slabs there. Let's try that. So let's put... Oh, yeah. Use the axe. That's real smart. Let's get our... Um, Workbench, yeah, that's what I want. Put that there. So then I should be able to, I could stand up a little closer. I'll have to test once the once the sheep are actually in there. That's another thing. Not sure, oh, that was wonderful. I'm not sure, are there sheep in this biome? How long have I been in here? There's sheep in jungles, right? Yeah, there's sheep in jungles because they always get stuck in the trees. I'm going to have to find a way to get them up here and then breed them. Oh, come on. Um, I also put this here. This is just measuring out the drop for the mobs, and it should be... Now, I'm going to have to test this, I think, but there's going to be water where that is and that's going to reset drop height so it doesn't matter if mobs drop from here or up here when it hits the water right there it will reset their drop height and if they land right where this is that should put them at half a heart now that i'm thinking about it, i probably want that one up because i want them to die here and then i can move well, I, I could either have it move up a block to stop them from dying, or I could have it move down a block to make them die. Either would probably work. I don't think it really matters, but this is just going to be something I have to grind out, kind of making that. It's not going to be too hard. I just need the resource. I have the resources, I think. I'm just going to have to make it. And this is also going to give us a good idea of how big this thing's going to be. Let's see if we can get over here and look at it. I love running through this place. I wish that I had a mending book so I wasn't afraid of gliding everywhere. I don't want to... I know I'd tear through those things if I if I used them. Wow. So, looking from here, it doesn't look that tall at all, but that's just the drop. The thing itself will probably be another 20 blocks. So, like, there... This will fit within it perfectly. Like... Oh, the temple would probably go higher than that. I'm not sure yet. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I know this is after your Thanksgiving, uh, for you Americans, that is. Um, but I'm recording it on Thanksgiving, so I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye! Everybody's out to the head it hot, head it hot. Yeah, do it back, do it back, do it back, do it